A few weeks ago, I was poking around on the Samsung SmartThing forums and came across some posts regarding the backup batteries in the SmartThings hubs and how people are having problems with them leaking. And to check your hub for potential issues. So I did, and much to my dismay, I discovered that my batteries were leaking and they were actually wet when I pulled them out. So I removed them and tossed them in the garbage and since I've got a UPS backing up all this stuff way back in there somewhere, I decided for the time being the other batteries weren't necessary. Um, but I've decided that I really need to pull this thing down and clean it and tear it down and see if the crud got any further than the battery bay. So that's what we're going to do here is figure out how to tear this thing apart. So first let's take it off the little mounting bracket. And you can see the corrosion is still there from before. And I guess my smartphone home will have to not work for a little while. As you can see the batteries were quite corroded. Um, they were actually still wet when I pulled them out of the smart things hub. Um, so you'll want to be careful and wear some protective gloves. So what we're really wanting to do here first is figure out how this thing comes apart so I can check and make sure that the corrosion didn't get any further than the battery bay and uh, then we'll go about cleaning it depending on how bad it got. Um, you can see there's a fair amount of corrosion uh, in the four little battery uh, cutouts here as well as on the terminals here on both sides. Um, I've not had this apart and didn't find a lot of information online on how to take it apart but looks like we've got four Phillips screws here so we'll start off with those and see if maybe it's that simple. The concerning thing here for me is that as of the time of making this video, there is no way to back up your SmartThings hub. Um, so all the hard work you've done into setting up your smart home and creating various rules and settings and adding devices, if this thing croaks or battery acid leaks into it and kills it, and you gotta start over. Now, plus one for Samsung here. It looks like this doesn't have any silly, silly, silly trickery to get it apart. Maybe I was wrong. Ah, why do manufacturers insist on doing this? There is a hidden screw under the battery, so or under this label. Now it's going to come off. Okay, so thankfully it would appear that from what I can tell the corrosion has stayed in the battery bay so that's a really good thing um, that makes me feel a lot better now I would prefer if they had not soldered these leads right onto the board um, where we could just unplug this and I could just really soak this thing in some vinegar or something really well um, 
as opposed to having to get liquid anywhere near all this. Uh, but I really don't want to take a soldering iron to this, so I think I'm just going to be cautious and uh, uh, clean the other side of this. Um, actually, I think probably the thing to do, rather than put it back together, is to just clean it like this. And oh, now we can see all the neat guts. And uh, that way, if I get anything uh, down in there, it will not touch the board. So, uh, I really shouldn't have to do this in the first place, but seeing as that uh, the support article says to search Google for ways to clean up battery leaks, then I guess that's as much information as we're going to get. Okay, we've got some vinegar and paper towel and a washcloth and I'm just going to soak this in here and see how well the vinegar works. Mm, looks like it's making a dent in it anyway. Probably need quite a bit more. that got most of it. I think for a good measure I've got some electronics cleaner here and I'm just gonna go over that with that a little bit just to kind of clean any remaining residue off those terminals there that pretty happy about. That looks a lot better. So, I think we're good. So, let's get this thing back together. And hopefully this will save you some time if I had realized where that hidden screw was. This would have been a heck of a lot easier. Looks like we got a little bit of crusty stuff here on this wire. So I'm not sure if that was already there or I knocked it loose. So. It goes in like that. And it looks like we can line up these screw holes here. Although I have a feeling once we put this back in place it's all just going to kind of mostly line itself up. And there's that booger of a hidden screw. I should have known better than to think that they wouldn't have tried to pull something like that on us. I guess they have to have a way of knowing if we've been in it while it's under warranty. And I suppose if I really cared I could have warmed up that sticker a little bit Pulled it off and not damage the sticker, but I really just didn't care enough to go that route. Now, I have seen some photos uh, where people had pictures of this back plate having corrosion on it, too, so you'll want to check it and clean it up. Thankfully it looks like mine is nice and clean. Um, so be able to skip that step and 
clip that back in place and it looks like a little status light is blue I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be green so get to wait till that comes back online okay after what seemed like an eternity but was probably not all that long a uh, little status light is green and it looks like the app is back up and seeing the hub so uh, of course that's going to shut off so let's see if we can get uh, let's just do a little, turn that light on there we go okay phew samsung please let us back up the hubs at least because doing minor surgery on that hub and all the while thinking about having to redo all of this work just uh, made me sick to my stomach <laughs>